So I know this is a stage that a lot of free-to-play players have been struggling with, with the latest release of Wherewood Memories. Lots of people are saying it's been made harder than last time, and there might be some merit in that when you actually try it compared to before, to be honest. I'm gonna show it here for free 12, but the fight is the exact same mechanics for 212 as well, it's just a little easier. So everything I show you will apply there too. The catch of this fight is that your front three commanders will have their might absolutely throttled and you just won't be able to use their actives at all the entire time. So I put a free infantry which just won't die and can passively buff each other where possible. But they're really just there to fill the quota for these free infantry for the minus 40% attack debuff. They need your healer. Simon is best here. The damage in the fight is tick based. So his heal over time effect is better than Sansa's burst healing because it, it means none of it will go to waste. And then you run Sheila and Sabrina for the burst actives. They're, the key to this fight is killing their Sheila before any of your commanders die if possible. It's doable if just one dies, to be honest, but in an ideal world, nothing does. Now here's the fight. Sansa will heal a lot throughout this fight, so you want to play around that as much as you can. Off the start here, you want to just spam your Simon heal so that it goes off immediately when it's up, because your tank will be taking an absurd amount of damage. But then you want to wait with your Sheila and Sabrina actives and then use them right after Sansa heals on their Sheila for the first time. It won't quite kill her, but it will get her low enough that after Sansa's next heal, the two of them combined will then kill. If you have Julian, you can just run him here instead of Sabrina and one-shot Sheila, which makes this so much easier, but obviously not everyone has him. After this, you can either try and kill the Bowman in the back and then focus down Sansa, but I found that just directly focusing down Sansa to be the best, because everything is auto-attacking her anyway, so you want to kill one target as soon as possible so that her healing gets the least impact. Because if you're using your actives on one of the Bowmen, whilst everything is auto-attacking Sansa, her active will get like 30k healing off, whereas if you just use everything on Sansa and ignore them for now, it will only get 15k off because there's nothing to heal on the other guys. So it's more efficient to do it that way. And when Sheila is dead, healing up the damage isn't really much of an issue anymore anyway. It can be a bit of a DPS race in the final seconds if you don't have those paid commanders, but as long as you do everything correctly, you should be able to get it down without too much hassle. It may take a few attempts to get it right, sometimes I've found that Haley just takes so much damage off the start that you don't even have time to heal her, and then other times it's not an issue at all, but you can just keep repeating it until everything lines up. And there you go, that's how you do 212 and 312 of Wherewood Memories.